Welcome back to Bay Sunday. A new study found that the average person will spend five and a half years on social media. That's more time than we spend eating. Here in the studio to talk about the difference between a harmless habit and addiction is author, educator, and school consultant, Anna Homa Yoon. Welcome to Bay Sunday, Anna. Thank you for having me. So five, five plus years on social media, that's incredible. It is incredible, and we often don't realize how much time we're spending online. Why is that? Because there's this incremental creep of time spent online. Like you'll walk into a coffee shop, you'll pull out your phone and you'll spend time online. Or you'll go on YouTube to watch like three minutes of videos and then you'll find out 45 minutes later, you're still watching videos. Right. So that's the things that we're seeing a lot of for most, most people. So where's the line between addiction and just the healthy dose of social media slash getting your news online and checking your phone all the time? Right. You know, the thing is, is it really depends for each person, right? Everything is so variable. But the one thing I always tell people is think about what is energizing and what is draining for you. So use that as a gauge to, to see whether it's a good experience or a bad experience online and whether or not you are doing too much for yourself. So your company, you, you work with a lot of students. Um, what have you seen in terms of, of high school students these days, uh, middle school students in terms of their use with their use, uh, they're using social media apps like the ones you mentioned, including Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Sure. The big thing that I see is, so I started my company in 2001. And when I did, there was no Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. And about a decade ago, I noticed that more and more students were finding that their biggest distractions were no longer food, their sibling, and their dog. You know, one student last week told me that the entire internet was his main source of distraction. And the number one thing I see more and more is that students are now having to use their computer, um, and it's their main thing for getting their work done, but also their biggest distraction from getting that work done. Okay. What do you mean by develop awareness? So developing awareness is really understanding how much time are you spending online? And again, that incremental creep of usage that we don't fully understand. So first, it's really looking at where are you spending your time online? Are you on your phone? Are you, on, are you going on Facebook in the middle of trying to finish an email? What are the ways that you're spending your time online? What about finding ways to compartmentalize time? Sure. It's really about figuring out what when you're doing your work, do your work. When you're on social media, ha enjoy that experience. But the big thing to think about when you're compartmentalizing your time is there's a milth around multitasking. Mm -hmm. What about uh, how do you build an effective way to self-regulate? Right. So what th when you want to think about self-regulation is what works for you is what works. So I'll give you a couple examples. I usually use a dual screen. So I have a work screen that really only has like all of my work stuff. And then I'll have a social screen that's logged into social media. Other people will use web blockers when they're trying to get their work done. Or there's this one app called Forest mm -hmm. on your phone where it will actually, if you don't use your phone for a specific amount of time, it will build you a digital tree. So it becomes a little addictive. And do you think it's a good idea to figure out why you're on social media all the time if, if you fall into that category? Right. I do because for teenagers, about 92% of them say that they're online, but 24% feel like they're online all the time. So within five minutes of waking up, they have their phone in their hands. Mm -hmm. So for those students, I often tell them, reflect on why you are online. Why are you picking up your phone? If you Are you walking into a room and you don't know anyone? Are you bored in the beginning of the day? Think about those things, and what we notice is their behavior starts to shift because they're like, well, I've already been on the phone. I just put it down two minutes ago. We know that research shows the average person picks up their phone about 85 times a day. So just right. asking why is really important. Anna, thank you so much for joining us here this morning thank and sharing you. your tips. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Check out Anna's website. It's AnnaHomayoon.com, and you can follow her on Facebook and Twitter. That is it for this week. Be sure to visit our website, cbssf.com slash Sunday, and of course our Facebook page where you can pitch us your stories and give it a like while you're there. Thanks for watching Bay Sunday, and we'll see you next week. Enjoy your day.